Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I want to teach you how to draw a cute Easter chick with his head stuck in an egg. So get out some pencils and let's do this. I'm going to be doing this drawing on a weird surface that you might not have ever thought about drawing on before, but you probably have in your garage. And it's sandpaper. Recently, I was sharpening one of my pencils on this little sander. It's basically a stump sander that I've used before and realized that you could sharpen your pencil point on it as well when you want to get that super fine point. So I bought a bunch of sanded papers and I'm going to use some of it today. This one is by UART and it's the least expensive of the fancy art papers, but it is expensive. So I wanted to have another option. So I got some of this thousand grit sandpaper from my garage and decided to try that. And I got a couple of pencils, a white, a light yellow, a bold kind of yellow, a orangish kind of yellow, an actual orange, a gray and a black. And depending on what color sandpaper you have in your garage, you may or may not need all of these. So it really depends. My black sanded paper, and this is the art paper, and it runs about three something a sheet when you buy it in a pad. So it's not cheap, but it's really fun to work with anyway. But it is 400 grit. So if you have 400 grit sandpaper in your garage, then go ahead and use it. The higher the grit, the more fine the lines that you can get with it. So we're going to start by drawing a half an egg. So basically it's a half an oval and then a jagged edge on it. And then the body of the chick is basically kind of an oval shape and then put a triangle on the back end of it. So it's basically a rounded body with a triangle on the back. So you get a tail and then you need to draw the other half of the egg that has been broken off from the top half and draw a jagged edge on the foreground side and then just a little bit peeking out of the back. Two legs with three little toes coming out from each one. We'll keep that really simple. Drawing feet is hard and I avoid it at all costs. So we're going to keep that simple. And we're going to start by using the orange color, which will be our shadow color. And in this picture, in my mind, the light is coming from the right hand side. So the shadows will be on the left hand side of each of the shapes. So right where the egg covers the chick is where the shadows will be. And then I decided to add a wing just to put some interest in the body. So I put a, a curve down there and then I move to my next yellow orange kind of color and put that right next to and on top of the orange and then added the strong yellow color. Put that on top of the other color so it would start to blend with them. And you can go back and forth on sandpaper and just add lots of layers to it as well. It's pretty forgiving for the most part. And then you can switch to that really light yellow and put that on the top side. And if you're going to switch the lighting and have it go on the other direction, then just put your highlights in a different spot. But I like it this way because I want the, the back end to be all bright. And then we're also gonna have some bright color in that bottom section, just because the underside of a chick tends to be more white. So it'll just add a little bit of interest and we've got more areas to blend. Now you can go back and blend it now. You can go back and work on it a little bit more later. I was anxious to get to the feet and the legs. So the dark orange color, just one line on the left side of each of the legs. And to keep it simple, just put some of the orange in each of the toes. And then for the highlight, take one of your two medium yellows and put a highlight on the right side of the leg and then just mix some in with the toes. Don't worry about whether it's at the bottom or the top or anything because it's going to look great. Next up, you can do some other blending if you need to, but we're going to start working on the eggshell. So I'm going to use a gray pencil. It's kind of a medium gray and color on the left side of the egg because the highlight is going to be on the right side. So the left side is the shadow. And then when you put the white in, go bold on the highlight side. You want that to be nice and bright. 
and you can go in with multiple layers of it. So color the whole egg and then go back in and add more. You can always add more, more layers of white. Now the art paper is going to last longer. It's, it's got, you know, pH ratings and all that. The stuff in your garage is not necessarily going to do that. But if you're using this to make an Easter card or you're going to make uh, table settings, you know, little table cards or something, you want to put a chicken on each one, uh, decorations you're going to use, then sandpaper from the garage is perfectly fine. And it's a lot of fun to color with. It works even better than regular papers because with regular papers, it doesn't scrape off the surface of the pencil. And this sandpaper really does. So for the eggshell on the bottom, we're going to do the same thing. Highlight on the right-hand side, shadow on the left-hand side. And you can see on the top egg, I added a little bounced highlight. You don't have to do that. That is just a little bit of extra fanciness. But on the back side of the eggshell, the white is on the left and the shadow is on the right. And I know that seems opposite of what I just told you. But on the other side, it's just a matter of the light shining into the egg. So, you know, it's going to make you look like you know what you're doing, even if you don't understand why. And even on this black sandpaper, I can actually add a little black shadow underneath of it and end up with something that looks like it's got some shadow cast on the ground. Now, this is the purple sandpaper from the garage, and it happens to be a thousand grit. Thousand grit is a very fine grit. So I'm going to be able to get a lot more detail in this. I can draw it even smaller. If you're going to draw really small, you want a higher number in the sandpaper grit. If you're going to draw really big, you can handle a smaller uh, grit number. And here I'm going to do my egg again with the gray on the left and the white on the right hand side so I can get that dimension. And there's me doing the bounced light again, putting a little bit of white. And basically bounced light is something that is across the room from the chick is bouncing light back to it. So it has a second highlight, but that's not necessary. And then again, we're going from the orange to the yellow orange to the yellow, and then we'll end up with that light yellow. So we just get this cascade of yellows that goes from dark to light so that we end up with those tail feathers being all bright and light. It looks very different on the purple paper just because it's purple paper, but I also have more fine lines I can do with this. I can get a different texture with it. I can really get my pencil in there nice and sharp and add fancy details to it that I can't add on the 400 grit. So it really depends on what kind of thing you're drawing, whether or not you want to get the higher grit or the lower grit, but most people will have more of the lower in the garage. So draw this bigger rather than smaller if that's the case. So I've got my legs in there and we'll do another of the uh, shells with the backside, remember being the opposite highlight on the left side and the right hand side, that little tiny piece sticking up will be darker. And for the feet, when you're doing shadows, if you want to make the feet look like they're curved, then make a triangle under the feet. So how that's shaped like a triangle and then join all of it. So it just goes off to the left. And then you've got some shadows in there. In this one, I've got enough of a detail I can put in there. I can add in some cracks anywhere where I have bends in the eggshell. I did add those as well onto my other one. They were a little more on the clunky side just because that's the 400 grit sandpaper. So I hope you'll try this cute little chick. He's really adorable and doesn't require anything fancy. You don't have to learn how to draw eyes or a beak. Just draw his big old feathery butt. And I will see you in Friday's video when we're going to be working on a lot more chicks. Okay, I'll meet you back here then.